In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert caption files from one file type to a different one. I ran into where I use Camtasia and export my subtitles and my captions in an SRT file and needed to upload it in a different format, which is the web text track format. Sometimes you'll see it as a VTT. Well, I started searching and looking and there was a lot of paid applications out there and I figured out how you can do this for free with an application that you already have on your computer. So let me show you how. So I'm on my desktop and we want to open up the notepad application, which is already on everybody's computer. So I do use the Windows 11 and I'm going to my search and type in notepad. Now, if you are a Windows 10 user, just look up on my screen here and you'll see where your search bar is. Let's go ahead and open up the application. And let's just minimize it. We're gonna come back to it. I'm gonna navigate to where my files are. And I have all my closed captions here. And what we wanna do now is we're gonna copy and paste the file and rename it. So I'm gonna click on this file, hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste it, and I'm gonna press F2 to rename it. Okay, so we have our file there. Now, the next thing we wanna do is just right click on it and we're gonna say open with Notepad. Now, if you are a Windows 10 user, again, I have a screenshot on what this may look like for you, but we want to open this up in Notepad. So let me explain what you see here, because this is a SRT file that we're gonna convert to a VTT file. Each closed caption comes with three lines. You're gonna have the number, you're going to have the timestamp, as well as the text. Notice on the first frame, it is missing the text. So we have to fill it in with something. So go ahead and either um, use music. Um, you could do the three dots there, but you don't want to leave it blank. The next thing you want to do is on the first line, you want to type in web VTT. With an SRT file, when you look at their timestamp, notice they put commas in there to separate their time. We want to replace that with periods. So let's hit the edit tab, replace comma with a period and replace all. Let's save the file, close it. What's really important is we need to change this extension now. So we're gonna press F2 again and change the extension, which are, which are the three characters at the end, change it to VTT and say, this is just saying, if you change this file extension, the file might become unstable. And we, you know, we are aware of that and we're gonna hit yes. That's all you have to do. So if we want to reverse this, all we're gonna do is go back through the same steps. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and open in Notepad. You're gonna just remove that first line, delete the web VTT. We're gonna hit edit, replace, and we're gonna this time say replace all periods with the comma, save the file, close it. We're gonna change the extension to SRT. So that's how easy it is to convert that file. It's all free. Now, go work your magic.